Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We're here with our mad scientist Brady and some really cool looking futuristic stuff here. So Brady, what are we, what are we talking today? Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, magnetism and ultimately quantum levitation. Some very big scary words. Very big scary kind of sci-fi-ish sounding things, but okay. uh, very real. So what uh, have we got going on over here? So yes. I have a beaker of liquid nitrogen. Okay. Which, as you might have known from some of the other videos, is 320 degrees below zero. Ooh, that's really cold. And I have a couple of things here that are basically tracks of very, very powerful magnets. And are they, these aren't magnets I'd probably find at home, like on the refrigerator. Uh, probably not in okay. that degree, unless you have just happen to have some really powerful magnets laying around. <laughs> uh, but same concept, right? We all know magnets. And I have this disc, this little hockey puck looking thing, uh, that is not really magnetic until it reaches a certain temperature. Uh, the little disk inside of this uh, is a material we call a, a superconductor. And once it reaches a certain temperature, which is usually somewhere around 250 degrees below zero, which again, liquid nitrogen is a bit colder than that, uh, it starts to disrupt the electric particles within, within the atoms in the magnet and does a really interesting thing where it makes it both kind of a negative and a positive here and gives us this uh, phenomenon called quantum levitation, where it just kind of floats so, above the magnet. So that's floating. Wow, that's so, that's like magic. Well, it's not magic because we're explaining it again as, oh. we, as we go on. Uh, so this kind of has this sensation, and I'll show you another example here from this side. Yeah, I was gonna say you have a square magnet or a rectangle magnet yeah. there. So it gives it this sensation where it's both being attracted and repelled at the same time. Oh, that's such a great, wow, that's so cool. So how, what are ways that this can be applied to, I guess, in real life? Like, is this something that we use in real life or is this just a cool science experiment to do? Uh, so it's a cool science experiment to do, but uh, it's also in development for specifically what's called the bullet trains or the maglev conductor trains right. uh, already starting to be in place in uh, certain parts of the world like in China and stuff uh, but in development in other places obviously they're not going to use liquid nitrogen but they'll use kind of the same concept of reverse magnetism reverse polarity uh, and experimenting with different electrical charges and you'll see again as you have like a magnetic track if you have a superconductor on the magnetic track the disc oh. will stay on the track while levitating, giving you no friction uh, to be held back, like on a conventional locomotive train. Yeah. Uh, this just kind of glides right through, and that's why the bullet trains and the magnetic trains uh, are able to go so fast and so swiftly using uh, very little energy. And there's, because there's no friction either. So does this ever stop? Like, can this ever stop? Uh, so for this specific thing, eventually the disc, all I've done with the liquid nitrogen is make the disc really cold. Okay. So eventually the disc will kind of uh, acclimate back to room temperature and just kind of stall out on the track. Gotcha. Uh, but for now, until that happens, it's just going to keep on going and it's not going to move from the track where the very powerful magnets are. Wow, that's fantastic. So I, I know we use a lot of big scary words today. So um, friction was one of them and friction, just for our viewers, is um, when two objects are rubbing together and you can just use your hands as an example and you rub them together, you're going to get heat. So when you have heat, heat actually slows things down. So as Brady was saying, this is just floating, not creating that heat or friction. But as we can see, this is slowing down, but it's still floating. It's still floating. It's slowing down just because, again, that's just how I push it, right? The, the push of my hand is kind of the kinetic energy that started out, and it's eventually going to fizzle out. But the temperature is holding for quite a while. Well, thank you, Brady, so much. I hope everybody enjoyed watching us uh, do our quantum levitation thing. And everybody have a great day. Bye. Thanks for enjoying our video today. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like, subscribe below. We'll see you next time.